Welcome back to episode 3 of our look at Raft's first chapter update. A little unfinished business from the ship that we managed to conquer last time. We do need to sort out that carjack thing. Uh, I, when I was editing the video, yes I did see loud and clear exactly where we need to go for that, so we'll do that shortly. And there's been a casualty of the ship. Unfortunately, um, the, um, the thing emptied whilst we were away. And I managed to rescue both these creatures, but unfortunately the, the, the goat is dead. It didn't get enough to eat and it pissed off to the great abattoir in the sky. So never mind. I don't really care anyway. <laughs> Frankly, it's only a bloody goat. Give me milk. I actually do want the llama though. The llama contains wool. And I haven't actually used the wool for very much yet. I actually may want to make a backpack at some point. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, there's a shark in the game. Anyway, in this episode we're also going to, as well as once we finish off this nonsense, we're going to uh, build an engine. Uh, but then we're going to sail off to Balboa Island. Yeah, it's the one with the dance floor. It was over. There it is! Use one carjack. No idea where we found this. I've got a great memory, haven't I? Oh, here it goes! Oh, lads! The old... Oh, hello! <laughs> it went on its own. All right, let's make sure there's no ratty poos. No, all good. And we've got ourselves another note. Achievement unlocked! Vasagatan Historian! Which is... One of them. One of these notes are the Historian note. Yes? Oh dear. There are three, there are, there are three places still down south, powered by fusion reactors. We can go there, man. Steer this thing down south. Hey, is that rocket getting closer? Oh, no, 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 no! Blimey. There's a lot of other stuff about Australia and stuff like that in these notes. Some deep ass lore. Anyway, speaking of deep ass, let's visit the bog. Food for days! Oh good, they kept the food crate by the bog. That's sanitary. So it looks like it's um, definitely not essential to be here. But it is very nice if you can. If you can, if you, if you have the jack, why not use it? Right, okay, let's go and try to build an engine. And we haven't got the fuel prints. I think I can actually do this. I think I can, yes. We haven't actually got the fuel tank blueprints, but it doesn't really matter because when you craft an engine, you do actually get some free bonus fuel to start with. But after that, you're on your own and you'll actually have to make the biofuel reactor, the actual biofuel tank, and you have to go and get some honey to actually put in it. Right. Okay, so we're back. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Fish Oh, it's a fish stew. Ah, so that's proper food. Mm. Oh, hello, shark. Oh, you little... Right, we're sailing off wherever the wind is want to take us. I'll leave the sail up for now. So apparently we're going over in this direction. Hopefully we won't hit the iceberg and sink, like some ships we could mention. Not that one, actually. That one's, that one's fine. Have we got the clearance here? Let's, um, let's try and go around it. We, our raft is getting very big. That big old back end, that big old bum on the raft is going to be where our engine sits. Anyway, yes, um, speaking of which, let's go and actually make that. I will actually have to do a little bit of storing first. Otherwise we'll have no room. Right, so that's the that's the recipes. This is where I put various things. I haven't really got anywhere to put kind of cooked food, so I think I'll just put it in the bottom row here. I've got some cropper lots and stuff like that. Oh, the engine... Oh, we actually have to do that yet, don't we? And let's just eat some meat. That's already cooked. Let's put that into there. Oh, we've got a full thing going on now. We've got loads of food at the moment. Let's take the blue... Oh, no, that's in my inventory. <laughs> Ignore me. Right, let's put some of this stuff over here. And you as well, glass. Oh, the crop lot shouldn't go in there, but I'm going to put it there anyway. And that. Give us a little bit of space. Right, so if we go over here and put that the engine into there. Oh we can oh yeah, the blueprints immediately Yes, that's right, the blueprints automatically sort themselves out. And we've actually researched all these things. So learn and learn. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the blueprints. Put them in there. <laughs> well I live all tut in here. Including a poison puffer head. Ten of them. Blimey. So now we can make the engine. Um, I already went into the requirements in the last episode, because I I've been playing around in creative a little bit. Uh, let's have a look. The engines are in here. So for the engine we need ingot, rope, circuit board and plank, steering wheel, scrap, metal, rope and 
either hinge or bolt. Right, so let's get a bunch of stuff. All the stuff that I've been putting in the chest I'm going to take out again now. Let's put them in here so we know what's going on. We need you, you. Let's take some hinges. And what else? We need some rope. We can probably just make that out of the stuff that we've got. Just do it, turn it all, why not? That's the steering wheel crafted. Engine wise, we need a circuit board. And pl oh, we need 20 planks. Blimey. There. Put that there as well. Circuit boards require stuff. Which I haven't actually got in my thing yet. Copper ingot and vine goo. We've got plenty of both somewhere. Oh, there. Vine goo, I think, might be over here. There we go. Circuit board. And hence, we can make an engine. Woohoo! Lots of ingots used here. I'm glad I took the time to actually go and get a lot of that metal. But as we've discussed, um, the new islands, the new small islands, it's a lot easier to actually get the metal from those, which I'm most pleased by. It is now dark. That is still the ship. It, it's taken a long time to get away from that place. I'm just going to double check to see if my um, structural integrity is integral. Very sharp eyed viewers may notice that I've actually taken a row off the front of this because it was, it was serving literally no purpose and I thought I might as well get the nails or whatever the hell it was out of that. It wasn't nails, it's just wood. Wooden plastic. Right. No, that's fine. Let's go to bed. So we're heading into the sunrise on this fine morning. This is day 120, I think? Day 120. There's that lucky cat. Right. Let's... Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Never did get around to putting any armour on. But now we've... I don't know. Once I've actually built all my kind of engine stuff and eventually the fuel stuff, I can use all the leftover metal to actually armour the place up. Right. Let's put our... Well, let's do the engine first. Right, it's a big bugger. And it needs to have the wheel pointing to the back. And let's put that there. So the what you do here is you, you activate it like that. And you also change direction there. And this is the fuel tank. Oh, I was... Ooh. Apparently it does not have any fuel in it. Apparently that's only in creative mode. Oh, bum. Yeah, fine. Well, we haven't actually got the ability to make fuel yet, because we haven't actually found the blueprints. Um, oh, hang on. Slight problem. Let's just quickly have a little bit of a, a drinky poos. I'm coughing away like a madman. I really should fill this up as well. So the steering wheel is basically the rudder. Oh, there's a little island over there. Well, nah, let's not worry about that. So now I need to go put the rudder down. So um, I don't know how this works exactly, but in creative mode it doesn't really seem to have any, a huge effect. But if you're down here, there's the rudder. So you can turn it. Has that made a difference? I think we're going like the clappers now, aren't we? Oh yes, look! You don't even need the engine. We are changing direction like Billio. Well, let's put that to... The oh, hello, hello, island. Hang on. If we point at the island, then, well, yeah. <laughs> we can't actually do anything about this just yet, obviously, because we have no fuel. Um, you, you basically build a, a tank, pipe it up to here, and you're good to go once you've actually made the fuel, which requires a refinery, which requires potato and honey. Yeah. Well, the steering wheel at least um, actually does something, even if it's even on its own, so that's handy. Anyway, we actually do need to find a direction we need to go in. So, we need to change the coordinates. 5, 3, 1, 2. So, 5, 3, 1, 2. Oh, it's a long, long, long way away over in that direction, towards the llama. Probably right to the right. So, well, I wonder how the, um, the sail and the, the rudder interact. Which direction are we? We are actually going towards it, so I think if I leave this, we should be okay. Hang on, this is, all this is going to do is turn the thing, isn't it? It doesn't actually... Nah, whatever. <laughs> Let's not worry about that too much. How do ships work again? Well... 
we really do have to head a bit, probably a bit more east. I say east, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we're not actually going towards it. We're circling somewhat. I think maybe I've just buggered the... Um, I don't know. Let's have a go. I've turned the raft a bit, which means the, the, the mast is no longer... or well, the sail is no longer pointing in the exact right direction. We are getting closer, but look, we are still... It's still sort of like drifting directionally. Let's put that there. Pretend it's not there. <laughs> if things go really rogue, I'll just ignore it completely. I really need to get the engine up and running. We are no longer going anywhere. You bloody thing. Oh, look, the wind is going completely the wrong direction now. The wind's going over there. Well, that's no good. In which case, can we even do this without the engine? So it was a short while later and I've been fiddling around and I realised you can actually fill it up with planks. D didn't actually realise that. So I'm doing that. We are now putting planks into the engine, which means we can actually use it. I was wondering why it was taking so long to actually do this. Oh god. Oh, it's fine. He was looking a bit droopy, but he's fine now, he's eaten. Right, so th this is this is good. This is good because we can finally make... Because we're, not, we're just not getting towards it at all, really. Very fast. So we can finally actually turn the engine on. And get moving. Sort of. Um. <laughs> what have I done? Why is it so shitty? Is it just because it's like full of wood and nothing, nothing good? I don't know. Is that affecting us in any way whatsoever? Doesn't seem to be. What's the problem then? Do I have to fill it up to the top? Do we have to move some of this out of the way? Why is the engine so buggered? Hmm. I'm just going to quickly rip it up for a sec. Actually, no, I better not. Just because I don't want to, um. I don't want to lose all the planks that are put in it on the off chance. This is not so it's supposed to go fast. But it's just a piece of old bollocks. Look at it! It's not working, is it? It's not getting us anywhere. I don't think. We're still blowing in a weird direction. Which is away. Away from where we need to need it to be. Now what's wrong? We're not even going towards it at all now. It's most vexing. Feels like we're not moving at all, even with the engine going. Maybe take these out. Oh, here we go. Aha! So, unfortunately, my great hack, where I moved it away from the edge, it don't work! God damn it. You know what, I may, I may as well just leave those there. I wonder if I can actually expand it over here. No, it doesn't like that. It... There. <laughs> That's about we can do we can sort that out. We can do that. Right, hopefully we should be going to we're going further away from it. Ah <laughs> Now we're cooking with gas, or in this case wood. We are heading towards it. What can possibly go wrong other than running out of battery? Yes. Let's rotate it a bit more. And we should be there in a very long time. God damn it. So I've learned quite a few lessons here. Um, I've made it... I think, I think we're actually getting very close to Balboa Island. Um, I've made it so that um, this is the f officially the front of the ship and therefore I've turned the wheel to make it go like that, because it makes more sense, because we're going... If we're going in that direction, we want the wheel to be going... We don't want it to be going, like, um, lateral to it. So I've done it like that. Uh, and I've also swiveled things around a little bit up here. I've finally got some more wood production going on, because I'm using so much wood trying to get the engine to run for now. I need to put some more in. That we will need a good source of wood until we can get the fuel, which I'm hoping we can get the blueprints from the island, which we can just see tantalisingly. On the very edge of draw distance over there, if you look kind of like look downwards slightly. 
Are we almost there? Also steering the damn thing. It seems like um, the ship keeps on going... Mm, we, need, we, need, we need to turn it again. The ship keeps on going so it's like I'm flat against the direction of where I want to go. So I need to make sure that I keep on turning it. So we're actually going actually towards it. Like that. Ooh, hang on. I think that's pretty straight and true. And then we have to correct the sail. It's currently trying to blow us away from the island, which is a pain in the dick. So let's do that. Check. We've almost got down another battery. Check that. Um, well, what, what we want is the blue thing to be to the left. So if we look to the left, it's going that way. That way, towards the front of the ship. But it keeps on swinging around to like here-ish. So I've got to keep my BDI on it. I think that's because of... it's. This is the most difficult sailing you can do in the game because we are, we are intentionally having to go against the wind. You wouldn't normally be able to get this way, I guess, without the engine. Well, you can, but go like one metre every five minutes, which isn't... I'd, where's, the, where's the bloody thing gone? God damn it. I need to turn again. There we go. Slowly but surely, I am getting this. Okay, so next morning, I've been reinforcing just underneath the engine. That should be enough, shouldn't it? So we've got armoured plating there, which should all be good. And let's just change back so I don't accidentally make any more. So that should hopefully sort us against any attacks. I think we need, we need to start steering. We need to come in, in from a slightly different vector. The other side of the island. I think we're just going to crash into something if we go this way. Although I don't know, maybe there's a cove. A rum cove. Now I feel like we should go over there. Is the engine still going? Yes it is. I may switch that off. Oh actually, wait, I, don't think we, I don't think I can switch it off. Because we're still going against the wind. Something rotten. Right, here's what we'll do. Turn! Oh, the engine stopped. Go. Oh. We may be okay. Oh no, we, we're literally not moving now. Okay, we need to put some more wood in. There, yeah, that's used quite a lot of wood. I've got one plank left. I think I've still got some in the chest, but I've really suddenly started to absolutely plough through my wood, thanks to the engine. I had a chest almost full of wood. But no. Go that way. With any luck, we should make landfall within the next few minutes. God damn it. Bring her in slowly. Mind that rock. That's a that's a regular goal. None of your droppers. There's Jeff Minter taking in the scene, and there's Jeff Minter wandering away again. Make sure that we've got plenty of water in there. Yes. Make sure the battery is reasonably full. Yes. Just in case I don't want to end up killing anyone again. We will never forget you, goat whose name I can't even remember. I don't know if we even never named the goat. Probably did. Oh well, who cares? It's dead now. Yeah, so if we turn left here, I think we should be good to go. So the wind's blowing just literally just away from the island. So let's just do it in that direction. That should, yeah, that should give us a bit of extra oomph. God, look at the big bugger. Look at it! Towering over us. I hope there is actually a, a place to land to the left. Otherwise, I'll probably have to go even further over there. Oh, it looks like there's a, um, ooh, a uh, chasm, whatever you call it. A horrible feeling that's not going to fit. We may have to go a bit further around. It looks like we could sail quite close. But there's no way we can get a regular raft down there, I don't think. Right, so let's head in that direction. Let's just double check there's no sharks. There's probably hundreds of them out there. So I changed my mind and came back for this little slit. Round there I think was just an illusion. There didn't seem to be another bay. So it looks like I'm going to have to park up in this ridiculous bit here. We're going to have to stop soon. Because <laughs> we are about to strike land. Sadly, quite literally. Bit this, bit this way. And we probably want to go and put the anchor down before we end up scraping our arse off. Right, now we can turn this off. 
Um, we have Balboa Island. The music swells dramatically. <laughs> but we'll do that in the next episode. It's taken us so long to get here that I've got to go out and go to the pub. So um, we'll see you in episode four, um, where we will explore Balboa Island, hopefully find some honey, hopefully find some blueprints for this bloody thing so we can actually feed it with actual fuel, with honey and potatoes. We need to start growing some potatoes as well. And that'll be that. So do come back for that. Uh, subscribe to the channel in the meantime to help us um, grow and to do all sorts of things. Um, just, I'm lonely otherwise. Subscribe. I beg you. Or check out the Patreon if you want to support us. See you next time.